Welcome to the Canadian Aboriginal and Minority Supplier Council, CAMC. Today we will be discussing pre-certification step-by-step application process and documentation. My name is Indira Lakra, Manager of Support Services. I will be discussing the actual CAMC supplier application and how to complete it properly to avoid delays. Please take your time in completing each section. Ensure all sections are complete as there are some mandatory sections and fields within the application. If any part of the application is incomplete, when you get to section 10, the system will alert you to fill in the incomplete sections, otherwise you will not be able to hit submit. Please note, a number of supporting documents will be required to be uploaded. We suggest when you come to the section requiring supporting documents that your naming convention should reflect the type of documents you're uploading. For example, if your company name is ABC Company and you're saving your articles of incorporation, it will be helpful to us to name it ABC Company dash Articles of Incorporation. There are just 10 sections to completing your supplier application online. Section 1, General Company Details. This section covers company details such as your legal business name, your complete mailing address, phone and fax numbers, and your website address. Section 2, Key Contacts. Ownership Contact. Here we require a complete list of contact details of the largest majority or Aboriginal shareholder or shareholders in your company. Primary Contact means that this is the individual who will be contacted for the following. Application follow-up, CAMC corporate members interested in doing business with you. They will also receive daily email alerts with bid opportunities that match your profile from Biddingo. This contact will also be receiving CAMC event notices. The administrative contact will also receive any follow-up calls or emails regarding information contained in the application invitation to events. Section 3, Products or Services Offered. Please choose the commodity category that best describes your product or services and the maximum number you can choose is five categories. Please note, corporate buyers when looking to send bid opportunities will choose from these commodity categories. Section 4, Business Profile. This section covers the geographical markets served, the number of employees and type of business. The North American Industry Classification System, otherwise known as NAIS codes, must relate specifically to the type of business, service, and or product you provide. If you don't know your NACE codes, we've included a direct link on the website. The maximum NACE codes you're allowed is five. We've also allotted additional space as an added opportunity to list specific industry sector classifications which will be part of your primary marketing profile, searchable by CAMC corporate members and CAMC certified suppliers. Section 5 Ownership Characteristics under this section, we ask that you list each owner, proprietor, partner, officer, and shareholder and identify the ownership and voting percentage for all listed. We also require that you upload copies of all majority shareholders' passport photo ID or Aboriginal status card. The last information required in this section 5 asks for you to list the owners non-owners and key employees responsible for the day-to-day -day operations, policy decision-making, including those with prime responsibilities. You will notice starting in section 5 an edit column with three signs, a green plus sign, a right blue arrow, and an X. These buttons allow you to make changes to your application like adding new individuals or changing the ethnic origin. Once you've made the changes, don't forget to hit save and next or cancel if you've made an error. Changing or updating individuals, you simply click add additional owner which will bring you to another screen to complete. All sections in this form is mandatory especially when you come to the type of owner which has a pull down menu to choose from and details will be provided in section 6. Something important to remember is to scan and save all your documents prior to starting your application because the system will ask you to locate them by using the browse key to upload these files throughout various sections of the application. 
Once the upload is complete, hit Save and Next to continue. Note you can also close the application completely and revisit without losing any portion of it. Section 6, Legal and Financial Structure. If your legal structure is a corporation, there are a number of supporting documents required to be uploaded like your master business license, articles of incorporation, bylaws, and so on. A sample of what these documents look like will be shown later. We ask that you upload each document separately to avoid delays in processing your application. Section 6 also asks for your most recent audited and or unaudited financials. List of contributions of each owner at startup or acquisition of your company. If you have a lease agreement, we also ask that this be uploaded among other documentation. A corporation is a limited liability business that has a separate legal personality from its members. Corporations can either be government owned or privately owned and corporations can be structured either as a for-profit or not-for-profit enterprise. A privately owned for-profit corporation is owned by shareholders who elect a board of directors and can either be privately or publicly held. CAMC certifies only for-profit organizations. A partnership is a business owned by two or more people. In most forms of partnerships, each partner has unlimited liability for the debts incurred by the business. The three typical classifications of for-profit partnerships are general partnerships, limited partnerships, and limited liability partnerships. A sole proprietor is a business owned by one person for profit. The owner may operate the business alone or may employ others. The owner of the business has unlimited liability for the debts incurred by a business. Section 7, Customer References. Here we ask that you list your top three references and what product and or service you provide to them. Section 8, Bank References. Here we require one or two current bank references for the company applying for CAMC certification. Section 9, Marketing Profile. In this section, the system is designed to generate your company profile that will be searchable and viewed by CAMC corporate members and CAMC certified suppliers. Please review the information and confirm what information you would like as your marketing profile. Here's an example of what CAMC's declaration form looks like. This is the only original form we require. Your master business license are rules and regulations enacted by an association or a corporation to provide a framework for its operation and management. The Articles of Incorporation is a legal document filed with the provincial or territorial government or the federal government, which sets out a corporation's purpose and regulations. This is one of the documents necessary in the incorporation process. When filed, the Articles of Incorporation create your corporation and set out important matters such as the number of directors and types of shares a corporation will have. Here's an example of what a corporate ownership structure may look like. Please note, CAMC does not certify holding companies. However, if the owner or owners wish to apply for CAMC certification for any of these companies, they would need to pay a separate fee for each company and support each application with appropriate documentation. Articles of amendment are available for two specific changes to the corporation. One, to change the name of an existing corporation, and two, to create a new structure of an existing corporation. An example would be to change the share structure from unlimited common shares to class A, B, and C common shares. Company bylaws are rules and regulations enacted by an association or corporation to provide a framework for its operation and management. Bylaws may specify the qualifications, rights, and liabilities of membership, and the powers, duties, and grounds for the dissolution of an organization. Here's an example of what a shareholder's share certificate looks like. The certificate should tie in with what you provided in your CAMC application, your shareholder's ledger, and your current financial statements. Shareholder's Ledger or Registry This document should show all the transfer and purchase of all shareholders and the type of shares they hold. It should also include the cancelled shares. Approval Process 
Once you've submitted all the appropriate documents to support your application, you will receive an official CAMC Certified Supplier Certificate, which is valid one year from that date. Recertification notices will be sent to you a few months prior to the expiry date, and this is a simple one-step process with no admin fee. Thank you for joining us, and have a great day.